Hello, Magic players and especially old school players. I, I welcome you to the second episode of our Brewing Masters, again with Charles Klein and myself. Um, we changed a little bit from the last episode. We will talk more about the decks before. Um, I will now introduce you to Charles. Charles, say something. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good to have you on the screen. Glad to be, uh, yeah, I'm excited for episode number two. It's gonna be a fun match. It, it will be because today you will see Reanimator versus Zombie Tribal. I will play the Zombie Tribal. Luckily, some of the legends, uh, mummies and walking deads and stuff like that got an errata. So they are all zombies now. Um, yeah, but we start with Charles deck first, the reanimator deck. Charles, tell us a little bit more about your deck. All right, great. Um, this is one of my favorite old school decks. Um, I think reanimator is just a lot of fun when win, lose or draw. Um, my the way I look at Reanimator is very similar to Eureka. I don't like playing a version where you only have six casting cost creatures or, or more, where if you can't get your animate deads or your all howls going, you just can't cast anything and you just die. Uh, so the best Swedish build I thought would be a primarily black-white build where you have creatures that both you can hard cast as well as be able to reanimate. So I went with the Forge Zam, three Sangir uh, package, um, four Sarahs and four Trikes with the Jazams and the Sangirs obviously working really well with the Dark Rituals in the deck. Uh, but the fact I'm playing white and not blue for, let's say, Modis or red for Shivans, I, white also gives me access to Disenchant and, and Swords, which I really like. And Trike obviously is great removal. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing a deck type I've never played against. Thank you. And now we're switching to my deck. Um, I will play a zombie tribal, as I said. Um, I love the idea of tribal old school decks because I'm when I grew up with magic, I thought tribal decks are the best decks and now I can play them in old school magic. The only non-tribal card in my deck is uh, the Black Knight because I needed another two drop. It's basically um, a weenie deck. And I think reanimator will be a tough matchup. Um, especially when I'm not drawing my early paralyzes to overwhelm my opponent. As I said, I'm also playing some unusual cards, which I will tell you while playing. Um, the most unusual card is probably Zombie Master. That's why I'm telling you directly what it does, because then it's easier. Um, maybe you get hooked up with zombies and want to play that. Also, the Zombie Master is a colorless double black 2-3. And all zombies get Swamp Walk, which is key in that matchup, I would guess. When Charles can't block me, I hopefully can strike through without getting any backswing damage or lower backswing damage to, to win that race. Um, yeah, and uh, it gives every zombie uh, the ability to regenerate for one black. Uh, he's self a zombie, but he's not giving that to himself, so each other zombie gets that. This is also reworded um, because on the old magic card it says, yeah, every zombie gets that. Um, so far, so good. Uh, as you can see, both of our sideboards are not prepared for each other. So we don't want to make it boring. We want to play those decks as we would play them on tournaments. That's why I also play Gloom and uh, Energy Flex. Uh, Energy Flex is probably not super good against um, Charles' deck. But we will switch now to the playground and play some rounds of fun old school magic. So, Charles, we are up. I need to shuffle up my deck a little bit and then we can start. Yep, I'm just hoping to see your video again. Give me one second. Okay, I can see you. Perfect. That's fine. <laughs> Let me give a good shuffle. Uh, odd or even? Even. This time I started. It was a five. You got it. To, to give you guys the best experience, we take like two or three 
times the um, the video just to make the best thing possible because we don't want to cut it. So that's why I said this time I start because last time <laughs> Charles started. Uh, yeah, one on top. This is one. This is three. Uh, two on top. Two on top. The middle on top. Okay. One, two, or three. Perfect. Uh, one on top. That's fine. All right. So let's see. I will try that. I will keep. Me too. Then rock and roll. Uh, underground sea mock sapphire for a walking dead and past the turn. So one one. Uh, it's colorless black, 1-1, one, one, and for one black mana, it gets regeneration. Asks in your upkeep. I'll cast Ancestral. Uh, Actually, no, I'm going to do it right now. I, I cast Ancestral Recall right now on my main phase. I'm okay, playing Reanimator. Sure. That's fine. I have uh, nine cards. I'll go to discard. I'll discard a Sarah and a Drake. I have seven cards, pass turn. Draw a card, play a land, and try to sinkhole your land. Okay. Yeah. And oh yeah, and attack you for one. Okay, and nineteen. Pass the turn. Are. Yeah. I'll draw two. Yes. And we'll discard Shazam. Yeah. Sam. And uh All House. Okay. And um pass turn. Draw a card. Hmm. I take one damage. Uh, sorry, like this. Try to cast Demonic Tutor. Okay. Maybe it was not that good to cast that Demonic Tutor now. Uh, I take this card. And I try to sinkhole your buzzer. Okay. Give me one second, just shuffling up. You want to cut again? No, just, just cut in the middle. That's good. Okay. So, sinkhole. And attack. And pass the turn. Okay, 18. I'm off. Okay. Fingers crossed. Yep. One, two. Three. Okay. Three cards. Your turn. Uh, play a mox. You have three cards in hand? Yep. Uh, mind twist you for three. Ouch. And whew, attack you. The fun fact is, past the turn, all hollows even. I mean, that, is, I mean that, that just won you the game right there. I, I hope that so. <laughs> the, the, well, because the, next next turn this this game was over. Yeah, the, like I can't win against all Hollows yeah. Eve because people don't know that. But as soon as the spell resolves, um, you can't do anything against it. So th this is kind of the first card with suspend, but it's not suspended. The card yeah, that was your only it was your only out. Yeah. 
your turn. I prayed with the bazaar turn that you're not finding a, a reanimation spell. Uh, zombie master, as I sh as I said, it's a two three. Uh, gives swamp walk and regenerates my creatures, and I attack That's you. Two. And pass two. Fifteen. Turn. Uh, attack for three. And pass the turn. Yeah. Okay, pass the turn, draw a card, um, play an Urborg, tap Urborg Moxjet, and sinkhole your bazaar. And attack for three. Pass the turn. Turn. Draw. Attack for three. And pass the turn. So where's the zombie master? No! Not the master. Okay, I'm going up to 21. My turn? Yeah. Yep. Attack. Five. Go. Turn. Attack. Um, I play a Cyclopean mummy. It's is that... it's a mummy and a zombie. No, actually, it's a zombie, not a mummy anymore. It's a 2-1 for colorless black. And if it would be placed in a graveyard, it gets removed from the game. Okay. And I try to Psy Blast you. Yeah, that's game. And sideboarding. Oh Again. my god! Brains! Brains! You got so lucky. I, I, I actually I searched for the with the demonic for the mind twist and I prayed. I, I hope that you do not find any uh, animate dead, because with the animate dead I would be super dead, like. Uh, what to do here? Mm, that's a good one. That's a cool. Uh, yeah, I think this is okay. -ish. I guess you want to start? Oh uh, yeah, I'll start. Oh sorry, I shuffle under uh, under the camera. I'm sorry guys. I um I bought a new camera arm because Charles told me I need to do it, right Charles? You forced yeah, me. It's, it, yeah, it's it's so much better for the viewer. Yeah, it is. It I, I didn't believe it, but yeah, it's better just to see the mat and what's going on. No one wants to see Meteor. They all, only want to see my cards. And then also, uh, like, our setups match, so it's easier to yeah, that's visually true. appeal. Oh, uh, by the way, as I told you, I, picked, I, I called Charles before to set everything up and stuff, and I picked something up. Maybe some of you can write something in the comments about this card. The card is called uh, Splatter. If you know anything about it, just comment. <laughs> I would be super happy to read something about it. 
because it looks it looked super fake, but I love the artwork. It it looked fake and official at the same time. I do see if I have one more card. Yeah, yeah no problem. Um, I really, I'm really in love with the zombies. I saw that deck on stream for our charity cup in December, which I ran with Christian Reinhardt, uh, former known as a reindeer or also known as reindeer. And um, a guy was playing that and I was so, so, so amazed by this deck. It was not my idea. I didn't even know that Walking Dead and the... Uh, the uh, mummy and also the the headless horseman is a zombie now. I didn't know that. I've never seen anyone play this deck, so this is the first time. Yeah, I, I saw that and I directly bought all the cards I could get for that deck. It's definitely a cool deck to show uh, on stream. I've seen it. All right, give us a good shuffle. We'll be ready for game number two. Yes. And you're so right. I, I mean, I can not win against All Hollows Eve. At, at every point when All Hollows Eve, the only card which I can counter All Hollows Eve is a Time Twister, which is not a good counter at all. Uh, one. Oh, one. One. one on top. One on top? Okay, so like that. Uh, yeah, one on top as well. Okay. And uh, I'll be on the play. Yes. Give me something good. Okay. Um, me... Me too. Yeah, works. Yeah, your turn. Uh, Mishra's factory, pass the turn. Yep. Be and pass. Mm, play a uh, Chaos Orb and pass the turn. Yeah, Tundra. Play a Chaos Orb? Yes. I'll activate my Chaos Orb and take out your Chaos Orb. Yes. And for two? One, six. I roll a dice. Is that okay? This sure. is number yep. one. This is number six. Number six. Mind twist. I'm thrilled with that number. <laughs> uh, your turn. Cards. Sorry? I have four cards. Okay. Uh, I play a land, uh, I play a mox, I play a land, and I try to psionic blast your hypnotic specter. Oh, I sorry, I'm at 16. And pass the turn. Okay. Planes? Yeah. Come on. Sarah, I have three cards past turn. Uh, play another Mishra's Factory, and for four, I play Walking Dead and uh, Bad Moon, and pass the turn. Okay. It's a 2-2 two -two now, right? Yeah. Play land for turn? Yeah. Going? Yeah. 12. 16. Vampire. Okay. Cards, Pastor. 
Hmm. Walking Dead. And pass the turn. Take eight. Uh, Twelve minus eight is four. Uh, two cards faster. Nope. Oh, uh, we just like last week. We get to game number three. Yes, that that's true. I will start again. Oh, uh, yeah. I hoped for uh, a a maze of it. I boarded in the mazes. I hope that I find those or the meek stone. Uh, give me a second. A spicy sideboard card. You never see that. Yeah, like I, I need to get rid of the, the big creatures, otherwise it's impossible to win for me. Uh... One second. Need to switch my sideboard plan a little bit. Where is the fourth? Here we go. And I want this one and those three. Let's see if this works better. I forgot about hypnotics in your sideboard, but actually it's okay when I forgot about those because when we would face each other at a tournament, I wouldn't even know that you have them. Start to take out. True. Okay. We're going to just stick with the same top of the Let's see. Oh, you. We do it like that. One, three. Uh, number three. Which number? Hmm? Uh, one on top. It's fine. Okay. Three, six, seven. Let's see. I try. God, this is so embarrassing. I have ancestral all three games. Oh my god! Oh, uh, I s keep up your hands a hand a little bit. I might see it. Uh, I play a land and pass the turn. Once again. I mean, you can also target me. I think I better just do it this way. <laughs> Well, uh, one, two, and throw out, uh, One second. No, no rush. Get rid of the swords. Okay. Draw. I play mummy and pass the turn.
Okay. Taurus. Pass the turn. Okay, so and attack you. Nineteen. And play Mesa Fleet. Uh, the uh, the mummy is two. Okay. Pass the turn. Demonic, yes, works. Yes, my tutor. Okay. One color was. Yeah. Take this card. Okay. Follow us, we will take out your chaos orb. Okay. And uh pass turn. Three cards. Attack you. Okay, I'm at 16. Uh, pass the turn. Yeah. Three, four, five. Yeah. Zengir is fine. Yeah. Yeah, works. No cards. Your turn. Attack. Fourteen. Pass the turn. with everything. I Psy Blast your Zengir and I Mace your Hypnotic. So I take five. Oh no. Yeah, I take five. Yeah. How do you take five? Um, you, you get rid of him. Maze him so you're only taking three. Oh, you mean with that? Right, right, right. <laughs> That's yeah. Fifteen. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. My turn? Turn. Okay. <laughs> Attack. So what is he again? He's a 2-1? Two, 2-1, one. Two, one, yes. I'll just take it. I'll go to 12. Okay, pass the turn. Any cards you have? Uh, 5. I Psy Blast your Sarah. And Maze the... Hypnotic. Red 13. Yes. Sir. Draw. Play a land. Play a zombie master and attack you. All right, so I take three now, right? Uh, no, you take still two. The zombie master is okay. not bathing. He gives regeneration and swamp walk. 
Pass the turn. Yep. Your turn. Mm. Sorry. Uh, play Soul Ring. Tap Soul Ring Underground. See, play another Zombie Master. So those two also have Swamp Orc, and with the colors I activate my factory and attack you for six. Okay, your screen just uh, went blank. Um. Uh, this one you can still block. You're just going to have to help me. Okay, I can see. Um, okay, the factory I will... Block. Okay. And the other two are Swamp Walk, right? Yeah, right. Because those two got an Arata as well, so they are zombies, but the card is not saying anymore all zombies in play gain Swamp Walk because they are not buffing themselves. They are giving each other zombie you're controlling Swamp Walk and regenerate for one black. So How the, much uh, damage? Uh, four damage now. I'm at six. Press, pass the turn. Better be something good here. It is not. So you have you have six damage on the board right now, right? Unblockable, yes. Blockable. Game. Pass. Nice one. Whew. You got it. What can I do? <laughs> you got very lucky in game one. Oh, one more turn. I had I had the lockout. Yeah, right. And I also. Also, if you would find in the draw and animate that, the uh, mind twist would be bad, you know? Um, fun match. Sorry? It's a fun match. It, it is, like, the zombies are super unusual. Um, I boarded against you four cards. I boarded in two maces and uh, the winter orb and the meek stone. And uh, after game one, I think I made a small boarding mistake. I boarded out the Black Knights um, and kept the Bad Moons. But um, I changed that for four Bad Moons in game three because I forgot that you have the Hypnotic Spectres, which I buff as well, and the Zangirs. <laughs> and the 5-5 five five is impossible to destroy for me. I took out the the Jazams because you have these regeneration creatures and mazes, so I didn't want to get in that that lock. So in the uh, these, which are also great because they they're easier to cast and just brought in more creature destruction. Yeah, I would have less need to have to reanimate. I don't have Blood Moon, and I don't think the disenchants were that great. Um, so that's that was the plan. I was thinking about Gloom because I saw in your sideboard before we started that you have a lot of um, white cards in the board and you can't cast the Saras, but then I thought all the relevant spells, then you just discard the Saras, never hard cast them and just reanimate them. Um, yeah, I don't think Gloom is great here because I also have a lot of black creatures and I also have more black creatures in the uh, sideboard. So Right, and it's super hard for me to board against you because I'm the aggressive deck and I do not want to take out sinkholes or creatures at all. I, I saw that in game two because I need to stick with the pressure. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, you can't take your foot off the gas. Ever. Yeah. It was a cool matchup, though. I really enjoyed this was a episode two was really great. Yeah, I'm super surprised or I'm excited to see what we will play next week. Um, yeah, as I said, if you liked the video, click on the button to subscribe. A, sub a subscription would be nice. Um, yeah, and I think then we meet each other next week. Um, yeah. Uh, very, two completely different decks, and I uh, can't, can't wait for episode three. Yeah, um, and also if the players want us to play a match up, we would be super happy to do so because we we both have a lot of old school decks ready. The only thing which we're not doing 
at the moment is playing tier one decks against each other. That is what we agreed on, right? Because we don't want to see tier one decks all the time. I don't think anyone needs to see the deck versus Atog again. Everyone. <laughs> or the deck. Something super spicy. The but deck versus the deck. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not. I'm not playing that. Like that's. I'm not the right person to play with for that. That's no, me neither. Like this would be done that before. This would probably the, take the, two the, and a half hours, the, and someone wins with a huge firebolt, whatsoever, <laughs> or decking each other <laughs> with a huge brain guys here or no something way. weird like that. <laughs> okay. The cool thing is, uh, we've seen these decks. We won't see these anymore. We'll do something completely new next week. Yeah, right. We we switch decks every week. My MKM turn or my card market account turned hot this weekend. <laughs> be be prepared. I also bought another tribal deck. <laughs> I'm the tribal guy. Well, I love it. well, thanks so much for the match. I um, think congratulations you. this week. You got me, and I can't wait for next week. Thank you very much, and hope to see you soon again. And guys, we wish you all a great rest week and stay safe and secure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.